Welcome to Peralta Matters. I am your guest host, Joel Laguerre, Chancellor of Peralta Community College District. In this episode, we are going to talk to uh, some of our guests about uh, the wonderful programs in the sciences that we have going on at Merritt College. And we will discuss the Barbara Lee Building, as well as what it means for students who participate in these great programs. You are going to see how sciences really come alive and it's very interesting for all of our students. We all have our shovels and we're going to break ground today for the new Center for Science and Allied Health for the Merritt College. I think that's a pretty wonderful thing we're about to undertake. Well, the building is designed to be a sustainable building. We hope to begin the process today through this groundbreaking ceremony. It's going to symbolize the future of Merritt College, this new 21st century building. The new facility is really going to give them a state-of-the-art um, equipment, as, as well as the learning environment is going to be very conducive to really what's out there currently in the workforce. Everything from the basic instructional programs of um, biology, microbiology, chemistry, physics, um, uh, in our allied health you're looking at nursing, uh, radiology, nutrition, dietetics, quite a few others. We look forward to the opportunity to bring these um, programs um, to light to our community and bring more um, individuals from our local community up to Merritt College. The California Community Colleges, the community colleges in Peralta, we are here to serve and I'm proud to be part of that. And I'm happy to see you all here because by being here, I know you also are part of that mission and that thinking. So thank you very much everyone for being here. We will continue to forge forward. We're going to have a cutting edge technological wonder uh, installed here, created here in just a few short months. It's a great tribute to our community who are supporting our students through the bond measures that are funding this college here. It's very important for the entire community, but especially for our students. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching Peralta News. I'm Congresswoman Barbara Lee. Join me in watching Peralta TV. Welcome back to Peralta Matters. Uh, today, my uh, guest is uh, Kila Peltier, who is a student at uh, Merritt College. Uh, we are very happy to have you on the program with us today. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Uh, would you tell us uh, a little bit about you as uh, a student at uh, Merritt College, how uh, you, you chose the, the program that you are now a part of? I'm a CNA and I was looking for a medical assisting program and all the other programs I found were either way too expensive or they just didn't seem right to me as far as the curriculum. I didn't feel like maybe they cared enough to really teach what they were teaching. So I looked at Merit and I found the microscopy program and I fell in love. So I looked through the catalog. I was really interested in the uh, DNA sequencing and that's what caught me. So you have you already have a career in uh, the medical field, mm -hmm. uh, and you were looking for something more yeah. uh, than that. Uh, so you read about uh, the program, and you uh, ended up uh, attending. Uh, you're in attending classes right now. I am. So, so uh, share share with us uh, the difference that you you see between what you read uh, in the catalog and and when you get into the classroom. The classroom, it feels like a family environment when you go in there. Everyone can joke around and be calm and everyone teaches each other things. If you're having a problem, you can really count on a student to be there for you and help you. If you miss some notes, they'll let you look at your, you know, their notebook and they'll help you if you're having problems. So it's really a family environment. 
So, so there is no competition among uh, the students? No. Everyone wants to help each other succeed. So that's what uh, we call a good learning community. Yes. Very good. So, so you feel very comfortable uh, oh, in the yeah. setting. Now, you have um, a new building where the mm -hmm. program is right now. Would you share uh, with uh, our uh, audience uh, the, the difference between uh, the old building and the new building that uh, you are in? Okay, well me being a new student, I wasn't necessarily in the old building for previous classes, but I did get a chance to go through it, which was um, during BioFest when I hosted the Haunted House <laughs> as an extra um, gimmick for BioFest itself. So the classrooms that I saw in that old building were very small and cramped, you know, for the classes and the programs that did have to share it. Now, looking at this new building, wow, it's like we just get to run amok in it and, oh, let's go to this classroom and play with this. So it's, it's really good and all the new equipment, it's, it makes so much, like, so much easier for anything, especially learning. Mm -hmm. Would you share with us uh, what, what you've been learning uh, since you've entered uh, the program? I'm in the middle of my microscope masteries. <laughs> I have to take my Olympus mastery and that's dealing with uh, more advanced microscopes from the regular, you know, just uh, light source illuminated Miji scope to, to polarized light scopes that um, will show you your images of whatever you're taking on a monitor to laser scopes. It's, it's really nice. Oh, very good. Uh, so uh, if, if uh, you have, ha have you been able to share uh, what you are learning with uh, friends? And have yes. you been able to uh, encourage friends to come into the program? Yes, I bring my family into class with me all the time and it labs with me all the time and they're more blown away than I am and I get 100% support from them just by bringing them in. And I do have a four-year-old, so I bring him in with me mm -hmm. and he loves it. He looks in the scopes and, Mom, what's that? What's this? So he likes it. Very good. Uh, in, in terms of uh, you as a student, mm -hmm. and you are into this environment, uh, brand new building, mm -hmm. uh, named after Congresswoman uh, Barbara Lee, uh, what does the new uh, look, what, what does the, the environment, uh, the classrooms, what, 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 what do all of these things do to you as far as uh, being able to learn? It feels like a modern uh, medical facility. Like you're, you have the equipment to work with and you don't feel like you're just in some messy closet full of different equipment. You're actually in you know, a modern building that has modern technology, so. Mm -hmm. Very good. So um, sh sh share with us uh, the, um, the type of, um, of things that you you, you intend to do once you are done with uh, the program? Um, I did start looking at universities to transfer to and I was looking at you know accredited colleges and universi universities like Drexel and possibly going to University of Hawaii because they have really good um, microbiological engineering mm -hmm. you know programs so I'm looking more towards that um, I was looking as far as a practicum into pathology mm. um, you know my mother had a stroke and things like that so I'm into you know, certain genetics and diseases too. To what extent would you say that this program uh, has changed your life? Or has it? Oh, yes. It's open, microscopy opens up so many doors in any program, whether it is, you know, cytotechnology, histotechnology, pathology, any kind of medical profession, mm -hmm. microscopy is a must. And it makes you think, where are you really going? What are you really trying to do? And it really helps you decide. Um, what, what, what has been the, the reaction? What, what has been uh, the reaction of your classmates, uh, the, the students perhaps who were before you, uh, the students who are with you? How have they reacted to being uh, part of uh, such a program? Um, the students that were before me, they're still there. <laughs> they like it so much, they keep coming back. They're not going to stop taking classes, mm -hmm. and they help the new students out anyway. So, you know, as I said, it's like a family environment. So the old and the new, they just collaborate really well. In order for, for learning to take place, uh, we have to have uh, the equipment, as you, mm -hmm. you, you said that uh, you, you have. But you also have to have uh, excellent faculty members to, to teach you. Um, in the little time that we have left, mm -hmm. uh, would you share with us uh, how the faculty uh, members have helped you uh, to uh, to appreciate what you are learning? 
they're very down to earth. They can be goofy sometimes, so it's easier to communicate with them. Mm -hmm. And any questions you have, they will answer it no problems. They won't shun you away no matter what you need. If you need a lab classroom open, they will literally run down the hallway and freak out if you are not able to do what you need to do. They mm -hmm. will be there. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So um, if, uh, could you, in, in, in ending uh, this segment with you, uh, if you wanted to, uh, uh, could you share your appreciation for both uh, the environment and, and the program that you're part of? I honestly feel like if this program, if I would have never found this program, nor if we would have had the new building, um, you know, a lot of people's lives would be really different. They probably wouldn't be, you know, moving as moving forward as they should be, and I probably wouldn't be moving forward the way I want to. Very good. Congratulations Thank on finding you. a great program, and we are definitely excited to have you as one of Thank our you. students. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. My first instructor, he wasn't that articulate, but he used to say, you got to read the book. The EMT program, uh, it's very intense. If you're not prepared to study, then don't even bother to show up. And there's a lot of people in the class who want to be firefighters, myself included. I want to be a nurse. Some of them are going to go on to be doctors, like this guy, He's going to be a neuro neurosurgeon. I want to go to medical school, so this is like you can get some great experience, some great knowledge, and you're going to learn every single part of it. Bleeding control, CPR, mobilization of the spinal cord. The true skill is the assessment. When they can come in and recognize a cardiac event, recognize a stroke. You see somebody just sweating and can't breathe very well, and by asking a couple questions, you're able to figure it out, so it makes you feel really good. I can't teach them everything in here, but if I can just get them started with thinking about assessments, that's the true skill. Being an EMT just really opens a lot of doors. And after that, everything falls in place. Academic Excellence on Peralta News. Merritt College presents BioFest, highlighting the emerging careers in the biological sciences. I teach anatomy and physiology. Uh, today we have some students, some graduates of the program helping participants use what are called dissecting microscopes. I'm a returning student, um, earned my bachelor's degree a long time ago, and used the microscopy program as a way to get back into the sciences and to continue my career in the sciences. And this, along with some other programs in the Peralta Community College District, um, allowed me to just to do just that, re-familiarize myself with biology, and then pick up um, fantastic skills such as microscopy. And that helped me to continue on and go to graduate school. I then continued my education in order to um, start the career that I wanted, which is to teach uh, science at the college levels to a diverse group of students. Just being able to share the knowledge that I've acquired um, I love science and I want to kind of build up the interest in science and people that don't um, get exposed to science as much as they should and I'm talking about underrepresented minorities uh, in science, technology, engineering, math and medicine. And so I really enjoy having a diverse classroom, knowing that I'm reaching a lot of different types of people. These uh, subjects and careers are out here, are for them introducing people in this community in Oakland to the, the different scientific fields here at Merritt. And we're very excited about being able to bring the community together, the Oakland community, the communities around the Bay Area, as well as the students of the Peralta Community College District together to celebrate science and to experience all the activities and programs that we have here at Merritt. you tell someone who is thinking about going to college? I would recommend coming to the Peralta system to anybody, any age, any time, high school, before or after. The community colleges, especially in California, are well placed to give people a lot of skills. If you haven't found yourself or what you're going to do, you're going to find it somewhere in Peralta system. You are. Do it. Go. Go now. Don't wait.
For more information, please visit Peralta.edu. Like your future at the Peralta Colleges. Today we're going to be talking about the spinal cord. And in order to figure out where the spinal cord is, we have to first look at the vertebrae. This is a cervical vertebra, and we know that because of the bifurcation here. Uh, just to kind of give you some ideas, that's the spinous process. These are the lamina. These are the superior articular surfaces here and here. Of course, this is the body or centrum here. So here is the spinal cord itself, right here. And you can appreciate that there's gray matter and white matter in the spinal cord. Now on this model, the gray matter looks brown and the white matter looks off-white, but that's okay. Notice that there's this little area where the two wings of this butterfly essentially are connected. And this is referred to as the gray commissure. Welcome back to Peralta Matters. I am your guest uh, host, uh, Joel Laguerre, Chancellor of uh, the Peralta Community College District. Uh, for this segment, I am very excited to have uh, one of our faculty members uh, with us, Dr. Hank Fabian. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, so uh, would you share with, um, with our audience uh, what, uh, what you do at, uh, at Merritt College as a professor? We don't have that much time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, I, I guess basically uh, I, am in, I am the director of biosciences, which means that I am in charge of microscopy and histotechnology and genomics. And then I also have a natural history program with Ron Felzer that we do. So there's a number of hats that I wear. And I also teach human anatomy, uh, sometimes biology. We, we, we heard uh, um, uh, um, during a different segment uh, a little bit about the microscopy uh, program. Yeah. Uh, would you tell us about the genomics? So what, what do students learn? Uh, what, what exactly is going on with it? What kind of uh, reputation it has? Oh, we have an international reputation because right now we're working with a brand new type of sequencer called the Oxford Nanopore Minion. And it is a tiny little thing, maybe about the size of my fist, a little smaller than that. Uh, the old sequencers were the size of this table and even larger than that. Some of them were, you know, freestanding types of machines. So this is a unique little device because not only does it do a great job sequencing DNA, but it also does very long reads, mm -hmm. which is exactly the opposite of where the industry has gone before. Um, the industry kept chopping DNA into smaller and smaller pieces. And so when you try to assemble that, it's a little bit like taking the New York City phone book and cutting it into confetti and then putting it back together again. Mm -hmm. With the Oxford Minion, we hope that we'll be doing this page by page, which means we'll have much more accurate reads. And it's pretty exciting. It's, it's a lot cheaper way of doing things too. So we're, um, th this uh, device actually hasn't even been marketed yet. Mm. So we're cutting edge. We're one of the few labs in the world really that uh, is working with it, and certainly the only community college, which I'm very, very proud of. Uh, it's right here uh, at uh, Peralta Community College District. Yes, uh, indeed. Merritt College. Mm -hmm. uh, so you you talk you touch on on the industry. Uh, we certainly have a vibrant industry in life sciences uh, in in the Bay Area. Uh, would you share with us uh, the kind of relationship that you may have with uh, the industry? Oh yes, we have uh, industry partners in the Bay Area, but also throughout the United States and even internationally. One of our collaborators is a fellow from China who developed a method called gene capture. And so we're actually working with him. We're, one of the, we're probably one of the few labs in the world that are actually doing this new technique. And so it's very, very exciting. And again, uh, able, we're able to uh, capture many, many genes at once uh, for a very cheap price. So um, brand new technique out. And, and we're one of the pioneers of, of this technique along with our colleague in China. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh, how, how about students? How do students find out about uh, genomics and, and uh, some of the other uh, programs that uh, you, uh, you oversee with your colleagues? Well, our program is at 860 Atlantic Avenue in Alameda. And so many times our students come from Alameda because they see us around there. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we have things like BioFest where we introduce students to that. Uh, we also oftentimes give presentations in biology classes. And so we, we let ourselves be known that way. Mm -hmm. uh, we're kind of a, an unsung program in many ways. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really hoping that that changes 
The other thing I have to add is that we are a self-sufficient lab. In other words, we create our own budget. Uh, we have a company that we work through the Peralta Foundation uh, with, and this is called uh, Profile Genomics. Mm -hmm. And so we generate our own income. So by and large, uh, you know, it's no expense to school other than professor salaries. I mean, our budget, for example, this year is zero which some people will think is way too much. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, there's always those, right? Yes. Uh, but, uh, but we've generated enough capital and we've got enough supplies really from other places that we don't really need to uh, have uh, money coming from Fund One and stuff, at, this, at least at this point. So hopefully that will continue to grow and we're very, very proud of that. Very good, very good. Yeah, it's the, I also have to say that Profile Genomics is student run. Mm -hmm. So not only did they get practice in the laboratory, but they also understand of how you run a business. Mm -hmm. So they're getting some business experience with this as well. Uh, and that includes marketing and everything. Uh, during a visit that I, that I made recently to, to the lab, one of the students was uh, sharing with me that there are students coming from some of the universities to learn uh, from uh, the lab that uh, you're running. Would you share some of that with us? Yes, we have people coming from San Jose State, from San Francisco State, because again, the universities don't teach anything that we're teaching here, mm -hmm. let alone community colleges. Mm -hmm. And so uh, as word gets out, people get more and more interested and we draw a lot of our people from there. So and many of our students actually have gone on to graduate school or pursuing four-year degrees. Uh, actually, I don't think if any of them have gone to industry just yet. It seems like they kind of get their appetite wet for education and they just want to mm -hmm. go on and have more. And so we collaborate with UC Berkeley and, and San Francisco State and uh, UC San Jose and, and uh, Merced. And I mean, it's all the schools in this area. We have good contacts there and uh, great friends. So uh, we're very fortunate in that regard. So when, when the student uh, finally decides that he or she is going to go to work, uh, what, what kind of uh, jobs will they be able to do? Well, they'd be primarily technicians in laboratories, but again, depends on how far they go in higher ed. So they could actually be the people that are designing the research and, uh, as well as running the research. And so it really depends uh, on, on how far they go and the, the types of skills that they uh, develop. Now, right now, we're developing what we call capstone certificates, which means that students that already have a background in, in biosciences can take our classes and learn these, these skills that, again, no place else teaches. Uh, so they don't have to start from scratch. You know, they don't have to come up with a, another degree or anything like that. They can take a handful of classes and actually be um, essentially certified then to work in some of these um, high-powered labs. And we're the only school, that I, at least that I know of, that are, that are working in this capacity with the capstones. In, in one minute, would you tell me uh, how uh, you like the Barbara uh, Lee building and what it's going to do for, for you? Well, I'm like a kid in a candy store in there. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to work, I have to say. So, so by and large, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with this, and of course, there's some growing pains. We're, we're reorganizing some things and mm -hmm. things like that, and that's actually part of the process and part of the fun as well. And so, the most important thing is when I see the students in the hallways hanging around together and sitting in the lounges and taking advantage of the study areas that we have now that we didn't have the D building. I mean, it truly is a, a learning community. And Thank you so, so very much for joining us. And I know that uh, our viewers uh, have learned a lot in terms of what you're doing. Great. And uh, we appreciate uh, the good things that you, you have brought or you are bringing to Merritt College and to the Peralta Colleges. Thank, thank you, you so for much. Being with All right, us. thank you. Yeah, All thank right, you. take care. We'll be right back. Academic excellence on Peralta News. Histology is the fixation and staining of tissue. We are one of three on the West Coast. This is an amazing opportunity for someone looking for a job or a career change. I had to get into a new uh, line of work. I said, that sounds perfect for me. And it's the very first histology program in Northern California ever. And I'm in it. You get to understand more of the stains and the tissues and what things are. So that way when I do get into my career path, I'm familiar with it.
Histologists need to be trained in fluorescence microscopy. Well, we got that. They need to be trained in genomics. Hey, we got that. Without them, you can't do anything. You cannot cure cancer. You can't diagnose it. Knowing that those programs are available right here in Oakland is something really special. They are jobs in healthcare, and they're helping keep people alive. Some people are not even finished with the program and already have jobs. That's that's the demand because no one knows how to do this. A couple of people got hired by this company before I did, so I also applied and got hired. There are histotechnician positions all over the Bay Area. You can work in a hospital, you can work with diagnostics and treating cancer, you can work in a vet lab, working with animal tissue, you could even work with plant tissue. You have to like looking at cells and tissue, you have to like colors, and you have to be very, very patient. This program would really give you all the necessary skills that you need. You can do it like in a year, maximum two years. People should just go for it. To see the students grow and get the jobs that they want. That's why I like. We just get such amazing people with amazing stories um, and amazing hearts and we have a blast together. I'm an independent study student. Even though it's really a challenge, I still especially appreciate the fact that I get to spend more time at Merritt College. I have literally seen this program change lives and it goes with the motto of the college. I want to be a pediatric neurosurgeon through the influence of Dr. Ben Carson. I'm just going to keep going and inspire, hopefully I inspire other kids, especially African American kids, to one day do what I do. Thank you for watching Academic Excellence on Peralta News. I'm Courtney Brown. I teach computer science at Merritt College. Like your future, Peralta Colleges. And thank you for watching Peralta Matters. I am your guest host, Joel Laguerre, and we look forward to presenting you with another program having to do with uh, Peralta Community College District. Peralta TV, programs that matter.